Now on High Tide. Nick, will you help me? How? You want me to look up an old boyfriend to help you with your wife? Next one. The man you saw in the photos may be Alicio De La Rocha. He's head of Porta San Sebastian's biggest drug cartel. You leave Maddie out of this. <laughs> what do you care about her? While you're riding in here, she's sleeping with Mick Barrett. <laughs> came to California, lured here by Joni Mitchell, the Mamas and the Papas, and of course, the Beach Boys, all wanting a piece of that California dream. The doubters and the cynics say one day California will fall into the ocean. Personally, but it suit me just fine. I can now, in all good conscience, recommend this board. Something like quality control, huh, bro? Hey, check these out. I was thinking of having them blown up for the shop, kind of like they do in Hollywood, you know, with celebrity pictures. They're all of you. What's your point? That was my point. Is it me, or did it just get 20 degrees colder? So, is this what you call work now? Can't be. Hello, Mick. Hello, Joey. Madeline! It's nice to see you. Liar. But before you say anything else, just let me say that I wouldn't have come here if I'd had any other choice, but frankly, you're my only hope. What do you want, Maddie? I booked a table at Sasha's Cafe. You booked us a table? Yes. I'll buy you lunch, and I'll tell you everything. Why don't you just tell me whatever it is right here? Mick, please don't make this any more difficult. So I'm getting sand in my pumps, and you know what the sun does to me. I hear it kills vampires. Funny, Joey. Still in high school? Ah, no. Got me a diploma. Sasha's on the boardwalk? I know where Sasha's is, man. Good. You will put on some clothes, won't you? And, and socks. You'll remember to put on socks. Sorry. I guess I'm just a little tense. It must be the sun. Well. She seems... Pretty much the same. I told you not to marry her. Madeline and I were just kids when we first met. I was fresh out of the police academy. She was just starting law school. We fell in love, got married. People did that back then. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Did you have to pick this place? We always loved it here. Yeah, it's a great place to say goodbye. What was that table over there? I remember it well. You had the Caesar salad, and I had the heartburn. Then you told me that you were in love with someone else. Something like that. 
That was a long time ago, Mick. You look good, Maddie. Yeah, you need a haircut. <laughs> Thanks. <clears throat> no, really, you, you, you look good. You really do. So what, are you still mad at me? Mad? Why? Because you said you couldn't live with a cop and moved in with my lieutenant? No, I'm not mad, Maddie. How is Paul? I hear he's working for the DEA. Mick, he's in trouble. Yeah, what kind of trouble? He's disappeared. He went down to South America on a case, and now they're telling me he's dead. Who said he's dead? The DEA. Maddie, I'm sorry. <laughs> Mick, he's not dead. This morning, I got a package at my office from South America. It was a roll of film. I had it developed. I'd say Paul was onto something. They found his car, or what was left of it, in Baja on the 8th. No body. Have you shown these pictures to anybody at the DEA? Of course not. I mean, why do you think he sent them to me instead of them? Because he didn't know who to trust. Exactly. So if I go to the police or some official agency, I would put him at risk. Well, from the look of these pictures, I'd say he's already at risk. Yeah. Mick, will you help me? How? You're smart. You'll think of something. I wasn't smart enough to save our marriage. Wasn't just you. Please, Mick, will you help me? Uh, the lady will have Caesar salad. Nothing for me, thanks. Hard part. Here you go. Thank you for shopping at High Tide, and uh, please come again, and again, and again. Huh? No puncture marks? I guess it went okay, huh? She wants me to find her husband. What? Find her a husband? You already did that. Twice if you count yourself. <laughs> Not find her a husband. Find her husband. Paul's missing. Oh, really? That's too bad. What'd you get me? So, the wife's back on the scene. She's my ex-wife. I can't imagine you married. Try not to. It wasn't pretty. Oh, but I bet she was. Ooh, she still is. <sighs> so what do you make of pictures? Well, from the looks of it, it looks like a major drug operation. There's lots of firepower. This guy, he keeps turning up at photo after photo. Does he look familiar to you? No. No, I'd remember that face. Listen, Mick, I don't know if I can help you out with this one. I'm just a local cop. International drug trafficking isn't my field. Hey, wait a minute. You used to date a guy in the DEA, right? He was after you to marry him. You want me to look up an old boyfriend to help you with your wife? Excellent. Well, actually, the proposal was from Randy Anderson. He was ATF. Bill Abbott was with the DEA. He didn't want to marry me. He just wanted to live in sin. I suppose you want me to look him up. Yeah. I mean, you know, just... Ask him if we're on the Drug Enforcement Agency's top ten list. Maybe we can place this guy. Okay. Hey, Mick. Phone. It's your wife. Ex-wife. Maddie. What? Now, calm down, calm down. How are you, Sam? No, we'll Hi. meet you there. Okay. Hey, someone's been trying to contact Maddie. Betty, what's going on? When I got back to my office, my secretary had six messages, all from the same guy. He wouldn't leave his name. He said he was DEA, very insistent. Did you talk to him? No, but his last message told me to meet him here at 4 o'clock. It's 10 after 4 now. Oh, suit in range and closing. That's Buddy. Who? Buddy Carstairs, Paul's partner. Adeline, you got my message. Yeah. Well, What is going on? Oh. Why didn't you just tell me it was you? Patty, who are these guys? This is Mick and Joey Barrett. They used to be on the police force with Paul. Oh, well, 
glad you weren't alone. Now, where is Paul? Look, Paul's escaped. Now, I can't really go into detail, but I can tell you that we do know where he is, and he is safe. Thank God. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, but we're going to need something from you, Maddie. Name it. Well, Paul said that he sent you a package, a roll of film. Now, we're going to need that if this operation is going to be successful. Of course, Mick. If he wanted you to have it, why didn't he just send it to me? <laughs> Once a cop, huh? I still like donuts, too. <laughs> well, Paul was cornered. I mean, he just sent it to the first address he could think of, which was his own. He told you that? Yes. Come on, we're going. Mick. This guy's lying, Matty. Paul didn't send it to himself. He sent it to your office, and he's probably the reason why. I wouldn't. Sit down. Sure, what are you gonna do? Shoot us in broad daylight? Kinda tough to explain, pal. After what they find planted on your dead bodies, there'll be no question why you attacked a drug enforcement agent and why he had to shoot you. That'd work. Well, yeah, that'd work. The film? Nick, don't. If you do, Paul's dead. If you don't, she's dead. Fine, have it your way. Wait. Mick! Sorry, Maddie. Negatives in here? Everything, including the receipt. Hey, wait a second. You said you'd let her go. No, I didn't. <laughs> Somebody break out the marshmallows. Look, there's not much the DEA can do for you now. If you'd have sent me those photos the second you get them. I told you I couldn't. I don't know who to trust. We would have protected you. Like you protected her husband? Joey, come on. Anyway, it's obvious the ball has dropped. The so-called evidence is gone. Well, what about Paul? We investigated your husband's death, Mrs. Thomas. As far as the DEA is concerned, we filed the case. Yeah, well, Paul's not dead. He sent me those photos. You don't know who sent you those pictures. Hey, what if it was Paul? Mrs. Thomas, I know you want your husband to be alive. I want him alive because he's a fellow agent. But kidnappers don't generally make it look as though they've killed our hostages. It tends to weaken their negotiating position. What about Carstairs? Agent Carstairs was dirty. You play with fire and you're gonna get burned. Oh, I'd say he got burned, all right. Anyway, if you'd like, I'll have one of our agents drive you home and stay with you. <laughs> what, are you gonna put her in one of these DEA mobiles? She's safe around the New York subway, Jack. It's your right to decline, of course. Yeah, I decline. You think Paul was dirty, too, don't you? You think he was in this with Carstairs? They were partners. Look, between you and me, her husband is dead. So why not let her think he died a hero? So that's it? You're going to just mop this mess up and file it? Who are you protecting, Agent Merriweather, Madeline or the agency? If I hear anything, I'll call you. You think he's right? I know Paul Thomas is not dirty. Well, he did steal your wife. He didn't steal her. I lost her. You okay, Maddie? Yeah. For somebody covered in decaf. I'm gonna spill some cream and sugar on you? <laughs> Come on. Those idiots. I know Paul is alive, and I don't know why they won't believe me. What? 
What aren't you telling me? They think Paul was dirty, too. What? They are wrong. I know, Maddie, I know. Don't worry, my friend Sam is checking with another source at the DEA. We're gonna find out what's going on. Where's Mick? Uh, he's out. He'll be back. What are you reading? Surfer magazine. Gnarly. Is that sarcasm, Maddie? No. Honestly, I was just, um, I was trying to relate. That's impossible. You were born without the tact gene. You don't like me much, do you, Joey? You broke my brother's heart. No. You didn't like me from the day I moved in with Mick. You always resented me. That's not true. Then why did you always give me such a bad time? I was 12 years old. That was my job. You know, um, it wasn't really easy for me either, Joey. I mean, I was pretty young myself, and I didn't know anything about being a stepmom. Sister-in-law. I had to be more than a sister-in-law. I mean, Mick was trying to raise you by himself. Oh, well, he did okay. Yeah, he did. Looks like you've got a customer. It's not a customer, that's Sam. That's Sam. Hi. Keeping the door locked? That's a good idea. Why, well, you got something? Plenty. Where's Mick? Uh, Pick a number. He'll be back. Hi, you must be Madeline. I've heard so much about you. Really? That's interesting, because he hasn't told me anything about you. Hi. I see you two have met. Oh, yeah. Cops are getting prettier, Mick. Maybe you should re-up. The man you saw in the photos may be Alicio De La Rocha. He's head of Porta San Sebastian's biggest drug cartel. Never heard of him. Really, he asks about you all the time. Shut up. Well, according to Bill, he's kept such a low profile, he could walk into the DEA's office and nobody'd even know him. Really, that explains why he's so hot to get those pictures back. Bill? Wait, excuse me, I don't understand. A DEA official just told you all of this? Well, I had to let him buy me lunch. Must have been some lunch. Mm. Well, while you're out having lunch with Bill, I found out a few interesting things about Paul's dear departed partner, Buddy. Like what? Like he had a condo in Mission Bay. So? So he sold it last week for a fraction. Closed out all his accounts, even canceled his newspaper. Ooh, sounds like Buddy was getting sent to bail. Sam, can you run an ID check on the body in the car? Premonition, Mick? Yeah. I've got a hunch. I don't think it was Buddy. You don't think he's dead? I think he faked the whole thing, just like he did with Paul. And he took the pictures with him. Makes sense. The cockroach is camera shy. Yeah, and if Roach is as wired as Sam's lunch pal says he is, he won't trust it to some flunky who want to destroy the pictures himself. Mick, we've got to get to Paul before Roach gets those pictures. I don't think that's going to be a problem. Hey, país se para allá. You are a mess. Hide in the damn sewer until the cops clear it out. I'm sure you felt quite at home there. Well, that's funny. You just missed the plane. Just drive. Roach is waiting. Thank you, darling. So I trust everything went according to plan. Well, let's just say you owe the U.S. government another four-door. Put it on my bill. You got the pictures? Uh, yeah, of course I've got the pictures. No, I'll get rid of Paul. I said I'll get rid of Paul for good. Look at this. Bastards. It's 
not exactly a garden spot, is it? Depends what you're growing. Kind of like Beirut without the charm. <laughs> Let's see if we can rent a vehicle. Yeah, and get you a hotel. Me a hotel? Yeah, you're going to a hotel, Madeline. I didn't want to bring you down here in the first place. The last thing we need while we're chasing down drug lords is to be dragging your butt through the jungle. We've been through this, Joey. I'm going. And I can drag my own butt, thank you. Trust me, she's tougher than she looks. Impossible. Hey, what you got? The pictures. I thought you gave them to Buddy. What am I, an amateur? I gave Buddy the pictures, but I switched the negatives. No wonder you always beat me at cards. <sighs> okay, look, when we get to the compound, I think you guys ought to let me do the talking. Why, what are you gonna do, nag broach you into letting Paul go? <laughs> these guys are businessmen. Creeps, but businessmen. I'm an attorney. I deal with these kind of guys every day. Fine, Maddie. You can talk to them. First, we gotta find the cop out. Come on. By admission, I already died. You've already died once this week, Mr. Carstairs. Unless you get a drive with twice, I suggest you find those negatives. Well, I can't go back to the stage, Rocha. I'm a dead man there. Was it a request? My friend, you have caused me far too much trouble. Very clever sending the film to your wife. The better will cost her, her life. You leave Maddie out of this. Oh! What do you care about her? While you're riding in here, she's sleeping with Mick Barrett. I believe you know him. Nick. No. No way. See? Today's your lucky day. Three Americans, two men and a woman just arrived in San Sebastian. Who's them? Hey, Cortez and some men. Find them. Hey! Watch the bumps! I am watching the bumps. The road's worse than the Ho Chi Minh Trail. Maybe Rocha should use some of his drug money and pave this thing. I realize it's a dirt road, but could you avoid the major mountain groups? Oh, God. It's that nightmare week in Yosemite all over again. Don't even start on my driving. Ha! Mr. Magoo drives better. I happen to be an excellent driver. People comment on it. So what? People watch Patrick Swayze movies. What's that supposed to mean? Will you two please stop? It's like 180 degrees out here. We don't need more hot air. Fine, you're an excellent driver. People comment on it. In the meantime, I'm coughing up a kidney. Zip it. Hey, hey, what's going on? My guess is we're out of gas. Impossible. We've got over half a tank. With you, Mick, nothing is impossible. Great. Mexican food? Again? Now surely you don't want to pass up your last meal, Senor Thomas. Get that slop out of here. You're a very brave man. It will be an honor to kill you. Oh, ah, wait, wait, 
eyes. Oh, I think I got something in my eye. Did you wait for me? for a while and head back up on the road and do it on foot. What are you doing? If we can ID the terrain, we'll know which way to go. I see this mountain is just east of the compound in this picture. We can't be more than half a mile away. I gotta go to the little boy's bush. All right, don't go far. But far enough. Hey, watch out for snakes. Snakes? I hate snakes. Oh, and you guys don't kill each other while I'm gone, okay? How you holding up? <clears throat> Well, I'm a little worried. I mean, what if we don't get to pull in time? We will. Nick, uh, look, I, I, I want to apologize. Uh, there's no need. Yeah, there is. I mean, here, you've been trying to rescue Paul, and I've been acting like a bitch. Forget it. You used to do the same thing when I'd leave the toilet seat up. Nerves are raw. Mine are too. No, I actually think this might be worse than the weekend at my parents' ski lodge. Actually, it was hotter at the ski lodge. Was it really so bad? What? Us. Our marriage. No, Mick. It wasn't so bad. We just wanted different things, that's all. I did love you, Maddie. Yeah. Sometimes that's just not enough. Yeah, I guess not. Look, when Joy gets back, I'm gonna have him take you to the airport. What? Yeah, I've been thinking a lot about this. I can move faster on my own. I'll, I'll get oh, called out. Absolutely not. I am seeing this through. I am not quitting on you this time. I don't want you to get hurt. Don't do this. Do what? This. This patriarchal protection thing that you do. Oh, so now it comes out. Is this one of the reasons you left? One of them, yes, if you want to know the truth. Well, I'm sorry I wasn't a good husband. Good husband? You were a perfect husband. That was the problem. I needed a little imperfection in my life. You just call me perfect? Yes. I need a little air. Maddie, we're outside. I think the air over here is... Hey, 
Where's Madeline? Bro, you okay? Something happened? Yeah. I think I'm still in love with her. No. Oh, no, no. How are you, Maddie? It's your old buddy. Buddy. <laughs> We need to talk. Yeah, let's. They just don't make car bombs like they used to. I believe you have something that belongs to Mr. Rocha. I'm here to collect it. So who was in the car? I don't think California will miss one less homeless person. Hand it over. If you doubt my sincerity, I'll just do it. Negatives in there? Drop them. Now step away. Got what you wanted. Come on, let it go. Oh, no. She's coming with me as a bonus for Rocha. To you, I don't need. Drop the gun. I'm not afraid to use it, so get your hands up. Good work, bro. But don't worry, it's not loaded. Sergeant Cortez, venga! Aquí, vámonos! Make it the photos. Forget about it. Come on. What are we going to do? Well, I'm going to go up there and get him. What? what? Wait a sec. Hey, if you've got any better ideas, you know, now's the time. Well, I'll come with you. Well, so would I. No, no, no. you got to go down and get that truck. Take that guy out and be ready to roll when I come out with Paul. All right, no problem. Why don't we just take the plane? Because we're one pilot short of a flight. I can fly it. You can? Since when? Well, you know how I am about extension courses. After that ceramic class, I, I took flying. You never encouraged my hobbies. Oh, you're unbelievable. Look, truck, plane, I don't care. Just be ready when Paul comes out, OK? OK. OK. Uh, Nick, just be careful. Wait a minute. I'm going to get your husband. He's okay. a good man. Oh, now you get it. Come on, we don't want to disappoint him. You've done very well. I told you not to worry about it. Guess we don't need Thomas anymore. That's correct. I don't need you anymore either. Get rid of him, Pedro. I'll kill the other one.
Nick Barrett? Hey, Paul. What are you doing here? Apparently getting my throat cut. Where's Maddie? She's outside with my brother. Come on. Paul, let's go. I haven't seen her in months. Not since she filed for divorce. What? Yeah. I, I, I thought she'd take those pictures to the brass at the DEA. I, I had no idea. She still loves me. I had no idea either. I guess she still does. Come on, talk about this outside. Yeah, great. Right. Oh. Hi, soldier. Get in. I don't know how to thank you, Mick. You saved my life. It's not over yet. Get in. Look, I'm sorry there's no room in the plane for you. It's a two-seater. We'll be fine. Roach is our ticket out. As long as you let Joey drive. Get in. Paul. Yeah. I'll wait by the plane. Come on, move. Move. Stop. Mick, about what happened tonight. Hey, forget it, Maddie. Heat of the moment. I thought Paul and I were through, but when he was captured... It's cool. You love him, he needs you now. Get on that plane. I know. If I don't, I'll regret it. Oh, maybe not today or tomorrow, but soon. And for the rest of my life. Right? Well, that and you're the only one that can fly it. Right. Get in. someday, the place kind of grows on you. Fungus. <laughs> High Tide will be right back. There's an old saying that goes, trouble comes in bunches. Fortunately, so do we. every time we go out. Better than Maddie? Oh, Maddie never touched an ironing board. Forget about a surfboard. You know, I can't believe you guys are married. You're so different. Opposites attract. 
Opposites divorce. Everybody makes mistakes. You know, may not be any of my business, but I don't think she's your type. Really? What's my type? Uh, I don't know. Someone smart. It's Maddie. Someone strong. Maddie. Someone funny. Maddie to a T. I'm talking about me, you dope. Man, you take a lady's badge away, she loses her sense of humor. What's with the pictures of Michael J. Fox? That's not Michael J. Fox. That's moi. Oh. You know, next to the surfboard, you look so, uh, tiny. <laughs> Ooh. Well, not all of us can be six foot two. <laughs> you thought Maddie was tough. Where's Joey? M.I.L. Madly in love. I'm telling you, Mick, this time it's different. I think she's the one. I've heard that before, Joey. I have to talk to you about something important tonight. You're still my wife. I'll tell Joey everything. I'll go to the cops if I have to. You'll keep your mouth shut. Why didn't you tell me Frank's your brother? You're looking for Joanna and her brother. They're in danger. Well, they're looking for you. No, they're not, baby. They're looking for the owner of the boat. Who are you? That's OK. I'm the owner. <laughs> 